Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Heritage Contractors on Kalabach map. Just having a quick check, we've got our first few eggs. It seems to have spawned halfway into the wall, just pull it out a little bit. Nice and tidy. <laughs> so the eggs are, the, the chickens are starting to work. There we go, we've still got enough food for them. Right, first things first, let's go and see what contracts we've got. So we've got plenty of plowing contracts, a nice big one for 3,000. We'll definitely be doing that one, that's field 5. Cultivate field 11. So contracting is for Jakob Fischer. Quite a big field, but uh, I think we'll do that. Another little cultivating contract. Got some ploughing to be done. Uh, so we can get. So we've got the cultiv. Whoa. Ploughing. That's field 11. Let's try and see. The ploughing is on field 4. We're going to cultivate on field 11, we're going to plough on field 5, because that's a nice big contract. So let's get those two starting. So we'll go and hook up the plough first, get it started, put it onto a worker. Start um, getting our town folk working. As per normal, we would have to just set them off. We'll have to just do a bit of initial groundwork before we set the town folk loose on our vintage equipment. I'm sure we're going to have to re rescue it out of the trees every our equipment out of the trees every now and again. First things first, though, let's get this case farm all serviced. It does look like it needs a service, so we'll just pop up to the, to the service area and we'll go and give it a quick service. Put some grease on wherever grease is needed. Change the oil filters, etc. Right, it cost a little bit, but it's not too bad. Where's it? Oh, that must be inside the... Uh, that's inside the... Uh, the shed. In any case, that's not it's not a major problem. Can we squeeze through? Uh, just look how much bigger this tractor is than the Massey. The Massey is a bit of a newer tra tractor. So we're going to hook up the plough and then we'll go and find our field to plough. There we go. Yeah, so we did see quite a bit of ploughing in the first episode and that's why we'll put a work on to that and we'll do the cultivating ourselves we'll utilize our little homemade cultivator well it wasn't homemade by ourselves we did it was homemade by by a farm quite a farmer not a farm a farmer a couple of years ago right so I think the field is just up here to the left hand side. It's quite a big field. I think it goes sort of in an upside down L shape. We don't have access to this land. What's going on here? What am I doing wrong? Got to try and fathom this out now. Definitely on the land.
Here we go. No, it's still not. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Just can't work it out. Must be something pretty simple, man. I'm pretty sure we've We've got this contract on field 11. Um, not sure, not sure. What to do now? Let's go back and check. Uh, field 11 is cultivating and we've got the plow on the back. So we should be on field 5. <laughs> oh man. Man, oh man, oh man. Let's get back. And we'll just nip on down to field five. And go and get planting there. Got to find our way there first. So field five is down at the bottom there. I think if we get down through the main road, we can get there fairly easily. Looks like it's a little bit off the road, but give us an opportunity to take a little drive through the town. <laughs> oh man, do I feel like an idiot <laughs> after that lot. Oh dear. Concentration, fella. Concentration. Right, so just come through the houses here. And should we do it? No. And which way do we go here? Do we go? No, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Turn around, turn around, we go the other way. Like the Norton Crosses on the. On the street there, kids have been playing. Wonderfully detailed. This this little archway. All this is just fantastic. Really, really enjoying this map. The detail is fantastic. I mean, it's a tiny little map, but it's just oh, it feels so good. It just seems to suit this type of gameplay small equipment or vintage equipment something along those lines right I think we've got to turn right down here somewhere it must be pretty close probably just around this corner and then we should see fairly soon the field on the left hand side looks very uh, there's a field here amongst the trees there find a way to get into it now. Lovely sunflowers down there. Right, I suppose we could just drive up there but let's find the proper entrance. If we have to come and do a harvesting contract on this field too. I don't think we'll get the harvester up the little steep bank. We might do, but still, let's find the right entrance. The correct entrance gives us a little bit of time to look around the rest of the, the map. Fabulous. All these little log piles all around the place. Attention to detail by the mapper. Fantastic map. All credit to him. Or her. Or them. Right, so we're going to have to just get this sorted out we'll get the headland sorted out just make sure there's no little nasties that a worker may be caught up on I think we'll have to do a couple of passes top and bottom of these fields just to allow decent turning space the old boy doesn't have a, a small turning space. It's not bad, but it does need a bit of space to turn. So we'll probably do a couple of headlands, top and bottom. 
and we'll do it on a bit of a time lapse. As I said before, you've seen quite a bit of the of the ploughing. So quite a sort of rounded edge there, but it shouldn't give too much of a problem. We'll do a couple of passes at the top here. Yeah, just to take care of the step there. Want to give the worker the best possible chance to uh, to do their job. They're not getting paid a huge amount of money, so you can't expect them to take a lot of responsibility in terms of working out how the fuel should be ploughed. Got to tell them or show them, set them off in the right direction, so to speak. <laughs> Just about enough space for them to turn around down at the bottom here. Should do well. Do a couple of ups and downs. And there we go. For the young lady on the tractor. Beautiful posture. Seems to be doing okay. can leave her to it and we'll go and pick up the Massey and we'll get the well let's give it a quick service first seven hundred and fifty to repair cheap at the price I suppose okay and we'll go and look for our A cultivator. It's the one with the tyres on it. At least we know where the field is. <laughs> We're not going to have to worry, spend too much time worrying about where the field is. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Not got a massive width, so the Massey should be able to uh, handle it up and down. We'll do this ourselves, of course. quite nice with these open cab vehicles is that you can see the animation of the, of the driver quite clearly. See how he changes foot there as you break and right let's see if this works. Indeed not that I really thought it wasn't going to work. Get the headlands done. I should bring in a tidy sum of money. I think we should be able to do another contract. I think we should be able to do maybe three or four contracts in it in a month. grass field right next to us here. Looking forward to using our vintage equipment when it comes to cutting grass. Hopefully we get a couple of grass cutting and baling contracts. 
think I did mention before, we won't be able to do any silage contracts. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll we'll get this onto a bit of a time lapse. Get it done as quickly as possible. Yeah, there we go. Off we go. Speeding along. And we'll get back to you once it's done. back with me and as you may have noticed I changed the direction of plowing I was plowing up and down the log the long edges of the field and then it suddenly occurred to me that I had completely abandoned my plowing principles of never plowing up and down a, a hillside because that of course creates soil erosion it's a much better idea to plow across the slope as we as I changed to and as I have been doing in the last part of this video and doing now as that diminishes the amount of soil erosion so if you plow up and down you create slight furrows and it makes it easier for the for any rain water to run down the field and carry with it a lot of the topsoil. Just an interesting little fact there. And while I was plowing I did notice this nice little bench and what looks like some sort of 
information sign. And I thought I'll just have a quick look at it. Just pop up here and have a quick look and see what it says. Nice little bench. So I think that says something about a communication tower 773 meters above sea level. So we must be able to see a communication tower from here somewhere. Ah, there it is there in the background. Yeah, so this is a viewing point for that communication tower in the background. <laughs> we'll have to see if we can see it close up on our travels. In any event, that was an interesting little side note there. So we've done our cultivating contract so we can get this taken back to the farm drop that off and um, I suppose our worker shouldn't be too far from finished. We can go and check up them up on them in the in a little while. Just get this offloaded. The one thing about this is that everything is pretty tight here and which is quite nice because when people walk around the displays around the farm um, they don't have to go too far before they find another little exhibit. Go and get this parked back in the shed. And then I think uh, we'll nip on down and go and see our work is doing. I think I might just park it down the side here so we can have a little bit of a, a through road there. I think it'll fit in here. Should do. Yep, that's easy enough. There we go. Yeah, and now uh, worker has finished. So we've got that field all ploughed. We'll have a quick look around, make sure it's all done properly. I think it has. Yeah, that's looking good. And we can just make our way back to the to the farm. Drop off the plough. And I think maybe we'll have a look and see if we can do another contract get some more money in send out our invoices for the two contracts that we've already done get some money in for that All right, let's have a little drive back lovely sunflower fields quick look he's looking good I was also just quickly having a look to see whether I could see that communication tower <laughs> I think there's a castle ruin somewhere on the the edges as well we'll keep our eyes open for that as we as we drive through the map on our on our, contr on our contracting duties left here. And this should take us straight back into town. It's got to watch out for the traffic. It's quite a busy road. We're going to take a chance. I think we should. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we gave that person in a little citroon, I think it is. The fright of their life as we pulled out 
all I was trying to do is get across the road so that I had time to uh, to get a, across in front of the other vehicle in any event can't put any uh, beacons on this tractor maybe we should put something on the top of our hat or something <laughs> oh fantastic I just want to go back through this way through this little archway again it's all these little details that I was talking about that make this map so great go left down here no, sorry right down here go left down there we go into the building and then the farm should be down on the bottom left hand side we can go and drop off the uh, plow see if there's any other contracts that we can do yeah, so we do have this already set up as a little bit of a museum we will be getting some signposts made up fairly soon, I think, um, advertising the fact, and we'll get some people coming through. And as I said, we will then try and find a bit of space to put up some sale, some farmers market type stalls around here so we can get some income from that as well. Right, let's go get some money in and there's another plowing contract that we can do a small plowing contract on field four well, it's very close to where we were should have thought about that when we were down there we've got to think about these things because that's just cost us a whole lot of diesel but we've got some money in sitting over 10 grand now so we'll head on back down from whence we came Gives a bit more time to look look through the town. Yeah, oh, it's on the other side of the field, so it wasn't it's not exactly next door to it, but we still would have been a lot closer when we were down there. Let's get on back down there. tight going out there but not as tight as it is when we go out with the with the combine pulling behind the vehicles here and just amble our way on down there I can see something on the top of that hill it kind of looks like in the direction of which we were going looks like the castle see if we can see it we'll just nip on up there quickly the field uh, that we need to plow is down to the down to the left here but we'll just go up and see if we can see that can't see it through the trees there our quest looks like our quest goes on for finding the ruins on the edge of the map and the communication towers can't see it can't see the castle for the trees <laughs> uh, I think we just need to find a place to turn around get back to the work at hand instead of ambling around this lovely little map can't see anything time to get back 
Come on, stop loafing around. I have to take myself into a corner and give myself a talking to again. Get on back to work. Come on. You're getting a good look of this road. Got a pretty good idea of where we are now. We're starting to get a, a feel for where we are on the map. That's where we stopped in that night, the sunflowers early on. The field that we ploughed is just to the right of us. remember how much the field was paying I think it was just under a grand so you can see that the that's the sheep farm just as we pass the sheep farm on the right hand side so you can see that the we have to do a good few contracts every day just to start keeping the money coming in of course in the winter months it's probably going to be the contract is probably going to be few and far between, so we need to work as much as we can during the summer months, get the money in to survive the winter months. We probably have to close the, the museum during the winter months. Just look after the animals that we do have as we go along. In any case, another ploughing contract. Put this onto a time lapse. Right, you're back with me. Just about finished that contract. And I think I'm going to change the... I was playing on three times speed. I'll now change it to five times speed. Um, because I think the amount of contracts that we can do, we should be able to cope with at uh, five times speed. Certainly for now, we can change it back at a later stage, should we need to. Just finish this off quickly. You did not 
you would have noticed that I was plowing in the correct direction. There will be, when we do the headlands, there will be little areas where we, where we plow up and down, but um, yeah, that can't really be helped. I suppose what we should do is really plow across where we have plowed up and down. In other words, plow right to the end. But uh, yeah, as long as we know that that's what we should be doing, I think we'll just continue in the way we are now. Especially when we're using workers. I didn't use any workers for this because we've only got the one job on the go at the moment. We just about finished this. And then once we finish that, we'll uh, claim our remuneration for this this field. And then I think that'll be it for the day. Yeah, I'm trying to show a lot of the the work that we're doing. We'll um, do the repetitive stuff on time lapse, and maybe a, a, a few jump cuts if it really gets. I did consider doing a jump cut in for this contract, which perhaps I should have done. But I was enjoying myself doing the actual work. So <laughs> there we go. At least so far you've seen pretty much every minute of our of the work that has been done. Getting a good view, a good look at our vintage equipment. I do hope you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comments if you think I should do more jump cuts or whether I should stick with the with the time lapses. The, issue is the thing with the time lapse is you can just skip ahead on it if you don't really want to watch it. Or you can enjoy the bit of music that we add to it. I think that's it. Just about done. Now oh, we just need to get payment. Wonder if we will have to come collect the rocks. We don't have any rock rock collection equipment. There we go. Nine hundred and thirty-five bucks. Put that into the account. And then I think that's where we're going to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.